putting food on the table for families in communities like Sable Palm Elementary School. It's not always so simple. In the Big Bend, one in four children and one in five adults are experiencing hunger, a need that Leon County Schools and Second Harvest are working to meet. Thanks for joining us for ABC 27 News at 6. I'm Channing Frampton. A new partnership will make sure people have access to food anytime, day or night. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live from Sable Palm now. Jada, what are they bringing in to make sure families get fed? Well, Channing, in this area right here, right now, it's nothing but bushes, but pretty soon this will become the home to 20 freezer lockers. People in the community will be able to walk up, put in an access code, open that locker up, and take home the food and groceries that they've requested. We really want to have our schools serve as the hub of our community. For Sable Palm Elementary Principal Anicia Robinson, that means bringing more than just classroom resources to her students and families. The school is the only community partnership school in Leon County, providing students with needs outside of academics. Community partnership school, the notion is it will remove any barriers that can impede a student's education. So if they have a medical need, we're here to help them provide those services. If they have a dental need. One of the biggest needs for Patriot families, putting food on the table. Sable Palm Elementary already has a food pantry, but pretty soon they'll install lockers. But those lockers aren't meant for books. Let's say if it's the weekend and they contact us on Friday, say, hey, we need some food or we're in need um, or some food for the weekend or something. Then what we can do is we can put the food in one of the lockers. We give them a code. They access the code and the locker opens up. 20% of Leon County children are food insecure, meaning that nutritious food is not consistently available for them to eat. Second Harvest of the Big Bend says barriers to food are even higher for people who live near Sable Palm in 32310. It is in an area of greater need um, that's underserved, um, which is ideal, but it'll also be available to people from anywhere in the community who want to access, who need to access food at a time that's convenient for them. Two years since the start of the pandemic, Sherry Hubbard, who works as the communications director with Second Harvest of the Big Bend, says the need is still great from people who never needed a food pantry before. In 2021, Second Harvest of the Big Bend gave out more than 13.8 million pounds of food. In Leon County, almost a third of the people, the families in this community are um, defined as Alice households, and that's a United Way term that just refers to um, asset limited income constrained employed. So those are people who are living, they're employed, but they're living just above the poverty level. And we've seen so many of those families um, dip down into needing you know, additional help. That's why the agency has initiatives like their backpack program and the new locker program designed to make sure no student goes without a meal over the weekends when school's not in. Just anything that we can do to help our students feel their best, have the best self-esteem, and let them be kids coming to school, and the only thing that they have to worry about is learning while they're at school. So this is the first freezer locker program for our community. It's slated to launch sometime within the next month or so, probably after spring break for students. Second Harvest of the Big Bend says that after this one launches, they plan to bring more into our community, but especially those rural ones where the food insecurity is even higher. Reporting live from Sable Palm Elementary School, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Sounds like a great idea. Thank you, Jada. And if you need food, there are options no matter where you live. Happening Thursday, Second Harvest will host two food distributions. One's going to be in Franklin County from 10 to noon at 302 Tallahassee Street in Carabell. That's from 1030 to noon at New Beginning Worship Center in Jackson County. All distributions are first come, first serve.